What's up, y'all? This is Virgil Boggs. Y'all are in the mix. This is episode one of the Technology Podcast. What's going on out there? We're going to be talking about Google Cardboard, virtual reality for your iPhone or your Android phone. Talking, y'all, that's crazy. Uh, First impression, I wasn't very impressed just opening it up, but after spending time, I really enjoyed it. I'll get into that in in this episode. But first, I just want to say salute to my brother, Bubba Sparks. Y'all follow him on Twitter, at the real Bubba K. Um, thanks to technology, my brother was able to tell a story of uh, my wife and our son, Drexel Lee Boggs. He was born, uh, he lived for 10 hours. He had Potter syndrome. Basically, he didn't have kidneys and his lungs didn't develop. Bubba Sparks is a brother. He's I-4 and I. He shared that uh, and just... I just want to say salute. That really meant a lot to me, a lot to my wife. So salute, Bubba K. We see you grinding, homie. New South I-49. All right, we're going to get into it. Um, first, before I get into a lot, I want to say y'all go follow my folks, Optonaut. They're on Twitter. They're on Instagram. Follow them at VR. They are virtual reality uh, for your phone to take pictures with. They're located in London, England. Follow those people out there. They've been, I've been seeing them on Instagram. They've been following me, so I want to have you all follow them. All right. Uh, so Google Cardboard is a really cool piece of equipment. It's just uh, basically cardboard. Uh, it's got some Velcro. It's got some magnets and some 45-millimeter lenses. And that thing is crazy when you strap in your phone and uh, use the app. I'm on a, a Samsung Galaxy Note 3. I've been using this for about a week now uh, on the Google Cardboard. I've had the phone for a while, but I just strapped my phone in. I have the first generation Google Cardboard. They actually have a version two out now. It supports bigger devices like the Note 3, uh, which I really need to get. And if I do get it, I'm gonna purchase from I Am Cardboard, IamCardboard.com. They have some nice product, Google product right there. Uh, but Google Cardboard has got the uh, NFC, uh, you've got the NFC tag that you can write to your phone, so you close your phone and it automatically pulls up the app. Uh, you go to your app store and download that cardboard app, and uh, basically they have a ton of different features, but you can get uh, even more apps on the app store. You can get YouTube 360 videos, which are crazy. Uh, it's nuts. You can basically strap it on and you can look all around 360 degrees and you feel like you're there no matter where you want to go you just strap that on there you go bam find the coolest videos out there Uh, you can go to space you can uh, swim with dolphins you can take a ride with dale jr or jay leno and just get after it it's just virtual reality is awesome right now a lot of people are doing things with it but uh so google cardboard I got it uh, in the mail. I actually bought it off miniinthebox.com. And there, after reading, there were some bad reviews for the website. But basically, this thing came from China, and it took probably, I don't know, 10 or 15 days, maybe longer. But it came uh, last Friday. I was able to, to get it out and just go with it. And just there wasn't any instructions in, in the box for that. Uh, Google actually lets people uh, open source this thing so anybody can build for it. But... Uh, It was shipped to me, and I just strapped it on and and got after it. And later on, realized I could write the NFC tag and got the magnets. I had to use some tape to get it kind of secure on there. But I think the one from I Am Cardboard is a lot better build. So I want to say salute to them. They're out there grinding. I see a lot of videos. Y'all check them out. We may end up, 
I may end up giving away one of those uh, from Iron Cardboard. I, I think I might have a drawing or, you know, something. If you tweet a video or something, uh, tweet this podcast maybe. But that will happen probably in a couple of weeks. So I would love to see someone get a Google Cardboard. Uh, but you guys can go on there and just download apps. You can download videos. They've got live videos of Paul McCartney and uh, Big Sean. Uh, you feel like you're on stage. But basically, it's just a cardboard box, and you just you just fold it and just strap a headset. You can get a extra Velcro and just kind of strap it to your head. But with the with the Galaxy Note three, it's a little bit bigger. Uh, my phone is than than what the version one of the Google cardboard is. But they got version two, four bigger phones. So I'm excited to see that. Uh, but after playing with it, I really enjoyed it. Gotten into it. Uh, it just feels like you're there. If you guys are looking for a, a budget VR headset, that's the way to go. I saw Microsoft has one of theirs coming out soon, but uh, but y'all need to check that out. Also, I've been getting onto a uh, Gadget. That's my favorite app uh, for technology. I'm on there every single day and just looking to see what's trending. And uh, I'm gonna pull this up right now and just go through and see what really sticks out. Uh, but y'all need to check that out on your your iPhone or your Android. You can download that app and uh, check it out. There's smartwatches. They've got uh, Facebook doing stuff with iPhones. Uh, Google's investing in Africa. They got large wind power farms. Uh, they're also giving away a Samsung Galaxy Note 5, and that's the the phone I want to get next, or whatever the next Note line is. Um, by the time I'm ready to upgrade, I'm with Sprint. But uh, really, I think that's a cool phone. I've just loved the the Note version, just taking notes and just on the go, and the larger phone and being able to do more with Android. But uh, I check out Android Authority as well. But there's a lot of people on YouTube that I listen to and, and look at. But uh, so I want to talk about uh, one product that I think has been cool. Uh, it's not perfect by all means, but so I built a uh, projector for my, I have a Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 8.0, eight inch tab that I use uh, daily, uh, taking some classes online that, that I use. It has, I have a USB keyboard, so I just get into that. And uh, But I've been using this tab for the projector so that I basically take a cardboard box big enough for my tablet, take a magnifying glass lens, strap it in there, tape it up, try to seal off all the light, you know, keep all the light inside and project it onto my wall in the bedroom. We have a big open wall and I actually found some blank canvas so you can paint on and I actually uh, put that up on the wall and just uh, trying to get a really good uh, quality picture on there. I still got to work with the lighting issue and maybe a better lens, but uh, overall it's pretty cool. You can put Bluetooth speakers, you can you know, charge it, whatever you want to do inside the box. And you've got a really cheap uh, projector that virtually hardly costs you anything. And what's really neat is there are a lot of people are doing it with shoe boxes, but um, Pizza Hut actually did it with a pizza box. So when you're done eating your pizza, you use a little stand and uh, you put the lens in the box and there you go, there's a movie. I haven't tried it, but... Uh, I heard it is, it's out there, so that would be interesting to try out. Uh, I'll just get in quick. It's going to be a pretty short podcast. It's the first episode, but uh, one thing I've really enjoyed lately is uh, PayPal here, Card Swiper. I've been uh, using that on my, on my phone. We sell uh, some products, so we're able to swipe the card, and uh, there you go. They sign for it. You got your money to your PayPal. You could put in your bank account whenever but that's been a cool product you just upgrade from your regular paypal to a merchant account and uh you can take payments that way and it's pretty reasonable price um but basically uh just wanted to get into the google cardboard that's kind of a cool thing i really hope to give one of those away i uh, just want to say thanks for listening uh, y'all follow me on uh, Twitter, at jbox222. That's where you guys can tweet me. And uh, I'm going to get all of this up on the website, and all the links will be posted on my Twitter. Just follow that. 
uh, just be on the lookout and be doing a, hopefully a lot of things with this tech po uh, podcast, but it's my first episode. I just wanted to come on and just let you guys know we're going to be talking about all kinds of cool tech, um, older tech, new tech, whatever. You guys tell me what you like. I know some people are out there with the greatest gaming, TVs, uh, smart watches. I actually use a, a Samsung Gear Fit. I'm able to track my sleep. I use it for phone calls, text messages, uh, whatever. But it's a really cool product. I like to use my Galaxy Note 3. But uh, yeah, so uh, a couple things y'all need to know. Yes, I want to get the Note 5. Yes, I use the, the Note 3 right now. Um, I have a studio in my house. I've got an Apple iMac. I've got a nice mixer. Uh, just a pretty cool setup, so I'll be able to record in here pretty regularly. Hopefully, my schedule allows. I work two jobs and a married man, so hopefully I can get in here. But I'll be checking on Engadget a lot, CNET, and uh, YouTube videos. There are a lot of people on YouTube to check out, so don't just listen to me. Check them guys out. Tell me what your favorite uh, tech is and what you're really enjoying right now. Tweet it at me, at jbox222. Uh, again, just want to say salute to you. I appreciate y'all checking in with me, and I'll catch y'all another time. Again, spend some time with your family this holiday season. Y'all take them selfies together. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's Virgil Boggs. Appreciate you tuning in. I'm out.